Hey, LS swaps do not have to be expensive. I got this one running for 300 bucks, that one for 200, that one for 350 with a factory truck harness and LS droid uh, to get rid of the vats. So you can fire it up on the factory PCM and truck wiring harness. It's not tough. Little switch here for your ignition and then starter leads and you're good to go. Here's the PCM from that thing. Uh, I downloaded a 5.3 five speed tune, turned VATS off so I'll be able to run it without the uh, Silverado key. And uh, we'll flash, flash the tune in here and be ready to go. I've got another video that shows how this LS Droid tuning setup works with this Bluetooth dongle. I'll uh, put a link to that in here so you guys can see how that works in a uh, more complete fashion. Okay, there it goes. Do your magic. Charging the battery, you'll fire this baby up. So this is all the wiring you gotta do. It ain't tough. Uh, there is, move it here. So there's this pink wire in this connector. You cut that off, you hook that to your ignition. Uh, you can do it for the electronic throttle control. That's what I did in the Beretta. Put an extra pin in here. It's B9, I think it is. <clears throat> I'll make sure that's right and I'll put it in here. Um, and then you take the two heavy gauge wires, the one battery constant and then the other ignition. This, so this is battery constant that goes to the ignition switch in the truck. And then this is the one that comes back from the ignition switch in the truck. So here's my ignition switch now. And that's it. This thing will fire up. Oh, this, this wire here is the fuel pump wire. So when it goes in, the, this is what it's gonna have. Um, but for now, I'm gonna do my own fuel setup. Here's the push on AN fitting adapter as I was talking about. Piece of cake there. Uh, here is the pressurized fuel setup I've been using. You run your air hose in here, set your regulator, and uh, it gives you pressurized fuel rather than dicking around with the fuel pump and stuff. All right, if this looks like hackery to you, that's because it is. This could be perfect for a... Okay, started not working. <laughs> Alright, that started shot. Might have two bad starters. Two dead starters later. This is the brand new one out of the Beretta. Hold out, but it stinks in here. I think it's actually negative outside, but uh, I don't know why this thing isn't running quite right. Keeps cutting off when I hit the throttle at all. been watching the channel you might recognize this is the engine stand that tried to kill me uh, I did some welding on here this only fits Chevy Volt pattern now uh, but I was hoping that would help keep this thing from being so damn flimsy and what I have found is that this plate right here is really what bends um, and it was bad again obviously so I put these struts on here like I had before and that uh, that helps hold up the weight this kind of sucks here with an engine stand that's too flimsy to flip it over. Uh, but I got this free used oil pan from my brother-in-law. Cleaned up the gasket. I'm going to reuse that and slam this thing back together. Damn it, I forgot to put the baffle in here first. Easy as broken wire to fix on earth. I just stole it off the other harness. Goes in here. Nut it up. Alright, let's fire this baby up. I'm going to turn on my key switch. Here's my starter wires.
Well, both these engines I picked up run, so I'm happy with that.